Hello, I'm Drew Devitt. We're here at New Way Air Bearings, and we have another radial air bearing demo to share with you. You see this time it's on a, uh, a stainless steel shaft that's got a diameter of about three and a quarter inches. We've got two blocks carrying gimbal mounted radial air bearings. You'll see that this block has three bearings supporting the shaft, and this block has four bearings supporting the shaft. The three bearings is more kinematic. The bearings mount on gimbaled ball studs that allow the bearings to self-align to the shaft. So the gimbling actions allow the bearing to find parallel in pitch and in roll and provide for adjustment in Z. So you can see this is a radial air bearing cut by the width rather than the length. So this bearing is spinning on air bearings. You can see how free it is. It has quite a load capacity. I can't ground it. But uh, we can turn the air pressure off. Let's spin it up. Turn the air pressure off. You see it come to a screeching halt. Oh, look at that. We can even make it screech. Yeah. You really wouldn't want an air bearing to make that noise usually. But it's okay for ours. We'll turn the air pressure on. It'll operate just fine. So, turning the air pressure off again, I'd like to point out that there's less than zero clearance here because these are very tight right now. So, it's already stressing the housing. Now, when we turn the air pressure on, the bearings are strong enough to displace this housing. This housing actually bends out of the way and the air bearings make themselves clearance. So the air film is stiffer than this structure. That's something that most people don't uh, realize, but because the air bearing is being loaded in a column stiffness, but the structure is being loaded in a bending stiffness, the air bearing has a significant stiffness advantage. And this is why air bearings are very seldom the weak link in the mechanical loop. On the back end of the shaft here, there's two cuts where the key, it's relieved for keyways. I just want to show you how much zero friction, what it really looks like. You can see that wobbling back and forth. And because this is the lightest spot, it's always going to hunt for the center. But it can be a long time settling out on top dead center. Okay, in summary, these new way radial air bearings can come cut by their width like this one or by their length. These bearings are excellent for providing for linear motion and or rotary motion in the same axis. You can gang them together in multiples of three or four. These bearings uh, provide for very high speed motion. They also are very good for high precision applications. 